<laughs> Other than smoking in her candy craves, Ginger has maintained a pretty healthy lifestyle, including aerobics and yoga. Ginger would even release her own workout VHS titled Super Body, which has now become quite the piece for VHS collectors. Basically just as, as if you were doing any other film, right. um, you go to the set, um, I not only acted in the films, I, I uh, wrote a few of them myself, I helped cast, and I did, I was involved in a lot of the pre-production, uh -huh. so, and a lot of the wardrobe and things, so I would get everything ready before, going to makeup like anything else, uh -huh. and directly, just before I would do um, a commercial scene, that's what we call sex scenes in adult films, uh -huh. um, you get really nervous, and... Do you get nervous? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's an excited kind of nervous. And I, I choose my leading men, so I always know who I'm going to work with ahead of time, but it's still, it's still exciting and nervous. And what I do um, to keep my energy up during the whole scene uh -huh. is I eat m ms Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> In my contract, I have a pound of m ms on every set. Tell me, how many films have you done? An adult film. Ironically, and not um, not on purpose, I've done 69 films. Six <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Adult films. Uh, and they're all very, very successful. I mean, you're, you're worldwide. Get a few more leads on this guy. You're going to be serving subpoenas until I retire, and I do not plan to retire for a long time. Do you read me? What gift? Not again. This guy has crossed my path for the last time. We keep running into Dan Ends. All our clients have different IDs. And there's two people out there who don't even know the damn guy's height. What's his MO this time? I don't know. He, he picks them up in a bar or a theater or something. Then he steals her gems. I guess he figures a knife with his family jewels is an even trade for theirs. Mind if I talk to your victims? Mine? Why should I mind? I was so chic. Why? What did it say? It was like a high fashion label. You know that one that says, Vala? Like this, dearie. The logo was tattooed on his... You know what? I swear to you, ladies. We'll get enough proof to put this guy behind bars. From 1983 through 1987, Ginger Lynn would become one of the industry's top drawing stars. Her films were praised and were fast sellers at the video stores. This was at the beginning of videotape technology with the videotape formats of VHS and Betamax duking it out in the home video market war, the adult industry would choose VHS, and thus VHS would win this war. Becoming the preferred home video format for the next 20 years, a record that no other format has yet to break. Ginger Lynn, along with Tracy Lords and Christy Canyon were really the top stars at the time, it was due to them that the entire home video market became what it is today, adult content was at the forefront of the internet's rise to power, the same is true for the growth of VHS sales and rentals, a market that grew into a billion dollar industry. The sales and rentals of adult films had a bigger impact on mainstream entertainment than it is given credit for. The adult industry also created the mail order system, as well as formed the blueprint on how home videos were marketed, videos of Ginger Lynn have ran through more VCRs than almost any other woman. Hey look Ginger, I'm sorry, I know I messed everything up tonight. You don't worry about it, you were just fine. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Yeah. Bye. Would you like to explain that? There's nothing to explain. What do you mean there's nothing to explain? Look at your mother. Ginger, look at your mother and you tell me there's nothing to explain. Who is this bum you brought over for dinner tonight? You are never to see him again. Do you understand? What gives you the right to judge, oh honorable father? How dare you stand there and criticize when your own life is mired with smut? Do you think I don't know what's going on around here? 
Ginger, that is no way to talk to your father. Mother dear, that's the only way to talk to my father. Oh.